Just as Leonardo da Vinci was more than an artist, you will find the da Vinci color corrector is more than a color corrector. You will also find clients demanding the speed and efficiency of da Vinci's unified approach to color correcting. A newly patented arsenal of innovative signal processing is providing colorists around the world with unprecedented color control. From the softest pastels to the most saturated colors, Da Vinci has provided clients with the capabilities of achieving the look. Da Vinci is equally at home with satisfying the most critical client's color sensitivities. With Da Vinci's subtle finesse of color, beautifully saving what was thought to be useless material or finding new uses as a creative color production tool. Da Vinci accepts video inputs from three systems simultaneously. Two of the devices can be in component format, such as a telecine and a half-inch tape video recorder. The third input can be any composite video source. Da Vinci also provides composite and component video outputs, simultaneously making film to tape or tape to tape programmable color correcting possible in almost all video formats. The Da Vinci Unified Color Correct System stores sessions on a 20 megabyte hard disk. A floppy disk is also provided for an alternative choice of archiving sessions. The real importance of the Da Vinci is in what it means to a facility's clients. In January 1987, Millimeter Magazine published an article titled, The Producer's Choice. Millimeter conducted a client survey asking producers across the U.S. what equipment interested them most. Da Vinci's rating was 4.8%. To place this rating in perspective, the entire highly respected Sony broadcast product line combined rated 3.2%. There were no Telecines mentioned, and Da Vinci was the only color corrector on the mind of the producers surveyed. Successful facilities have long noted the importance of providing the capabilities their clients request. The ever-changing nature and competitiveness of our industry does not allow facilities to stagnate as technology moves ahead. Clients no longer accept that's the best we can do. Da Vinci, as a new creative production tool, has introduced new life and excitement into the industry. At first glance, the controls on Da Vinci may appear the same as those on other types of control panels. The Da Vinci controls, however, are quite special. The controls are actually digital shaft encoders instead of potentiometers. What this means to the user is that there is no mechanical end limit to the controls. If you recall previous scenes color values or a base memory color reference, the controls are instantaneously set without being physically moved. The controls are always ready to increase or decrease the value of any recalled color. At the top of the status display monitor, Da Vinci provides a control range indicator, which shows the setting of any control when it is touched. The interactive status display also provides the colorist with easily defined windows of information. The transport position indicator gives the relative position of the deck between scene mark points. The moving cursor represents the percentage of position between scenes and the film strip shows the last seven frames before and after the gate. The center frame represents the gate or aired frame. This provides a convenient look ahead feature for the colorist when trying to park on a scene change point in the list. To describe signal processing in the system, it might be best to travel through the control sequence much like a colorist using the system. The controls on the upper left are for the negative gains and PECs on the rank flying spot telecine or the negative matching controls on the Bosch CCD telecine. Since the ranks PECs and negative gains are remoted and stored in the list, the same as the other color controls, the colorist no longer needs to go back and forth between the rank telecine and the color corrector. Now that the controls are convenient, it is much easier to optimize the rank's performance for difficult scenes. To the lower left are controls for the telecine's color grade, master gain, gamma, and black levels. All remaining controls are adjusting the signal processing, which is internal to the color corrector. A select group of controls provide master gain, gamma, and black level control for the four channels of the Da Vinci color corrector. This enables the luminance and chroma channels to track when overall changes are required. Another set provides gain, 
gamma, and black for the luminance, red, green, and blue channels. The three chroma channels are used for color balance and have no effect on the luminance. The luminance controls are adjusted for best gray scale or contrast rendition. You will notice the enormous amount of gamma range, which unlike typical gamma circuits, will not only stretch, but also crushes. The crush capabilities may be new to many colorists. Its use will help add density to stimulate a print look or improve a thin looking negative. Even with maximum gamma, you will notice the video signal is remarkably clean, even in the blacks. The gain controls also have more than ample range and no interaction. Towards the top center of the panel, we find four soft controls with a vacuum fluorescent display. From left to right are contours, master chroma, which controls overall chroma level, soft clip, which enables the highlights to be softly crushed, allowing the operator to increase the overall video level and lower the near white levels. And finally, luminance threshold, which is also discussed later with color imagery modifiers. To the right, a more key changes the display and offers control of an alternative set of functions. Starting again from the left, we find chroma desaturation light, which decreases the chroma saturation in the near white areas of the video. This control is helpful in fixing color balance problems in the white areas remaining after the color balance has been set. The next control is chroma desaturation dark. This control allows the chroma to be reduced in the dark regions of the video, useful for correcting exposure problems with film. Next is the chroma phase control, which is used in tape-to-tape -tape correction. Another exclusive feature is a variable notch filter control. When scenes are encountered with fine detail, moiré effects sometimes are produced. The notch control can be optimized scene to scene to reduce these effects. Scene by scene programming on DaVinci is fast. Many of the redundant keystrokes required on past systems have been eliminated. Scene's change points are designated by simply pressing the mark key. Then all you need to do is adjust the color controls. There is no need to press any key to store the color settings for a scene. Previous scenes can be modified by just changing the color controls. There still is no need to store the color. DaVinci does this automatically. If a client changes his mind about the look, DaVinci has automatically stored the original color setting for the scene. Also, the modified version was stored as well. The preview key feature allows you to switch back and forth between two color settings to work a client into the desired look. You can also use the scratch pad or use the memory keys to save color values that you wish to use throughout the session. The user memories can also be used to provide three alternative settings for the same scene if you have a group of clients with varied opinions. Of course, you can recall any previous scene's color values by scene number. With DaVinci, you can also recall color values by name. If you use a slide-out keyboard to name important scenes, such as a night scene, product shot 23, you can enter that name in a later scene and recall its color values for use in your current scene. Color dissolves are as easy to program as cuts. You simply press mark at the beginning of the scene, just as you would for any color scene, and then press the dissolve key at the end of the dissolve. That's it. When you play the dissolve through, you will notice that unlike many systems, the dissolve works forward and reverse. You can even change directions or step forward and reverse, and DaVinci will track right along. Another DaVinci exclusive feature is the capability to scroll through the list using the trackball. This allows quick access for recalling color values for scenes which you know you have color corrected, but do not remember the scene name or number. As you scroll the list, you can see each scene's color values applied to your current scene. If you see one which fits, simply press one key and roll on to your next scene. You can also use scroll to quickly scroll back to a previous scene you wish to modify. For long lists, DaVinci scroll feature has become an almost indispensable feature. DaVinci features the combined motion control of a telecine and two videotape recorders. In addition to the normal play, stop, fast forward functions, a touch sensitive strip provides an alternative choice of shuttle control. The strip provides variable control from high speed shuttle to frame by frame searching. Even the VTR edit modes and channel enables are supported by DaVinci. 
Unifying motion control into the color correcting process allows sessions to be greatly speeded through the use of go to and search functions. These features provide quick and safe shuttling to any scene, frame count, time, footage, event number, or name in the list. DaVinci fully supports the variable speed functions on the Telecines. The 64 rank variable speeds and the 1500 Bosch variable speeds can be selected from the numeric keypad. The entire film may be played at a selected speed or each scene may store a variable speed. Variable speeds were a great enhancement to the Telecine. However, it required the colorist to use a calculator to determine the proper speed for a given length of film. Da Vinci's speed calc feature has greatly simplified the use of variable speeds. The colorist need only to enter the length of the film and the length that the film needs to fit into. Da Vinci automatically picks the correct speed. With speed calc, the length can be in film frames, footage, or time. No scene detector yet designed is as accurate as a human eye. However, Da Vinci comes close by using a dedicated microprocessor to detect scenes. The automatic scene change detector uses a combination of hardware and software to provide a highly effective scene screening technique. There are actually two auto scene detection modes. You can play the film end to end and Da Vinci will automatically mark each scene or use the auto stop feature. This will automatically stop immediately after a scene change is detected. The colorist then color corrects the scene and plays the film until the scene detector detects and stops at the next scene. Once you reach the end of the film, it has been entirely marked and color corrected. From facility to facility, operating practices change. Even within the same facility, each colorist may have a specific method of operation. Da Vinci permits each colorist to select from hundreds of operational preferences. In effect, you can design your own color corrector. These selections are made from the setup menus and need to be made only once. They, of course, can be changed at any time. Each colorist's selections are saved in a configuration file, which is recalled automatically when the colorist enters his name. Da Vinci's newly patented multi-vector processor provides 16 vectors with independent control of saturation, hue, luminance, and luminance threshold. A trackball is used to move a cursor on the monitor over an object to be changed. The cursor appears when the trackball is touched and is removed from the screen when any one of the four controls next to the trackball is changed. The touching of one of the vector controls automatically senses the color under the cursor and assigns it to the vector controls. Since the colorist now has automatically been assigned the control with the most effectiveness for the color to be modified, much of the repetitive knob turning associated with previous systems is eliminated. Any of the vectors can also be selected with the push of a key. As a creative tool, the vector controls are still active even when a scene has been made monochrome. With this method, you can eliminate all the colors in a scene, leaving only a product in color. This is becoming a popular commercial effect, which can be accomplished quickly on Da Vinci compared to previous time-consuming paint box methods. There simply is no other system today that offers the variety or range of the innovative signal control found on Da Vinci. The power of the signal processing is combined with geographical area isolation for even greater color control. Using the trackball, the colorist for the first time can define an area or window on the screen and change a color independently in the window. This allows separate control of identical colors within a scene. If you move the trackball cursor inside the window, you will have 16 independent vectors of control. And if the cursor is outside the window, you have an additional independent 16 vectors of control. This means in the same scene you have the equivalent of 32 vectors which can be set individually. Colorists have dreamed about this type of selectivity for years. What if the object in the scene you want to isolate moves? No problem. Just to find another box and make the scene a dissolve. You can dissolve the position of the window, the colors within or outside the window, independently. Da Vinci was designed from the beginning to take full advantage of the Telecine's repositioning features. Da Vinci's exclusive split list allows the colorist full independent control of either the color or the pan features. It's like having two color correctors in one. 
At any time, the colorist can switch between the pan or color list and make changes with absolutely no fear of affecting the other list. Almost all the features that are used in the color mode work independently in the pan mode. This has opened up enormous freedom and flexibility to programming, which greatly speeds sessions. If that's not enough flexibility, DaVinci is the only system that lets you even change the slope angle of a nonlinear move. For those systems without internal repositioning, DaVinci provides direct control of the Ampex ADO. Direct control means that no ADO control panel is needed, since a DaVinci panel controls the ADO and stores its parameters in the pan list. In addition to X, Y zoom capability, you also gain the advantage of X size, Y size, and rotation, all of which can be linear or nonlinear moves. For the high degree of image quality required, a component video input and output ADO modification kit is available from VTA Technology. This kit allows you to switch between component and composite ADO video modes from DaVinci. The silky smoothness of the ADO combined with the enhanced image quality of component video pleases even the most critical client. After reviewing the DaVinci, you will have noticed the attention to detail which is characteristic throughout the product. The keyboards, for example, are not plastic, but machined by hand out of three inch blocks of aluminum. Even small details, as in the ability to switch the orientation of the keyboards for right or left-handed preference, have not escaped the attention of the DaVinci design. DaVinci provides the most comprehensive scene-by-scene -scene interface to the Rank, Bosch, and Marconi Telecinis of any manufacturer to date. The interfaces are so complete, the cost of Telecine remote panels or encoders is entirely eliminated. This presentation has only skimmed a few of the DaVinci features. Like many products on the market today, ours is user-friendly, but we go a step further. Our staff is user-friendly, too. 1986 was a very exciting year for DaVinci. 60 color-correcting systems were sold and over 40 units installed in seven different countries. DaVinci broke all records with more installed units in one year than any previous color corrector. Current installations include the earliest rank in North America to a DaVinci on every enhanced rank in the world.